it. All the movements work happen so slow, but then you really feel the burn. Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Hannah, the creator of the Moving Mango Method. This workout will be a treat for your booty to strengthen all the muscles around the area. So if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's work out together. Alright, and let's start by allowing yourself to come to own fall position. Open your arms, shoulders apart and your legs if width apart. Make sure your shoulders on top of your wrist and your hips on top of the knees. Pull the belly button in, keep your shoulders far away from your ears and I want to inhale, slowly lengthen one leg, tuck your foot, move backward. We're gonna stretch a little bit before we start the main workout. So keep breathing, pull the belly button in, two and one to the other side, tuck your foot again and keep breathing five, four, three, look down to the mat, lengthen your neck and slowly bend your knees, shut your hips and you're deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now put your forearms down to the mat, really engage your core. I want you to inhale, lengthen one leg, extend the ankle and then lift your leg up just above the hips. So. Start to flex your ankle and then come back for five, four, three, two. Slightly engage your core to support your lower back to the opposite side. And start to flex and extend for five, four, three. Very good. Two and last one. And slowly bend your knees, straight your hips and then deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and when you're ready, I want you to slowly lengthen one leg. Now slide your foot all the way to backwards. And you kind of feel like your hip is stretching, your thighs is a little bit stretching here. Come to a tripod with one leg straightened. And come back to the opposite side and just move as far as you can and feel comfortable with your hips. And slowly bring it back to the center. Okay, and cow. So open your arm, um, shoulder apart, your legs stiff width apart. Now slowly articulate your spine, shoulders far away from your ears, look towards the front and round your spine, chin, your chest, belly button in. Come back, inhale. And exhale. And one more time, you with your own breath, put your shoulders down. Slightly engage your core to support the lower back and slowly bring it back to the center. That's amazing. Now let's start the main workout from here. So I wanted to inhale, put your forearms down to the mat. Keep your shoulders on top of your elbows. Keep your feet and your knees towards the center. Lengthen one leg, pull the belly button in. Inhale, lift your leg as high as you can and slowly bring it down. Ten times slowly. Ten, stabilize your hips. Nine, only your leg is moving up and down. Eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, that's amazing, and five, four, bring it down with control and really slowly squeeze your booty muscles, two, last one, and slowly bend your knee to 90 degrees, same leg, so lift your upper leg to parallel to the ground and higher, come back for ten, engage your core, look down to the mat, nine, put your shoulders far away from your ears, eight, very good. Seven, keep breathing. Six, belly button in. And five, reach a little bit higher. Four, inhale up, exhale down. Two, and last one, lift and down to the opposite side. Lengthen and come back for ten, stabilize your hips. Nine, extend the ankle. Eight, only your leg is moving. Always seven. Six and five, press your whole forearm down. Four, belly button in. Three, inhale up, exhale down. And two, and last one, lift, come back. Knee bend to 90 degree upper leg parallel to the ground and reach higher, come back. For 10, keep breathing. Nine, your hips still facing down to the mat. Good. Seven. Six and five, don't hold your breath at all. Four, 
That's amazing. Three, two, and last one. Lift, come back, and slowly bring your knees down. Shake your heels a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. Lengthen your opposite leg again. And now this time, lift up just above the hips. Start to make a circle here as big as you can, as slow as you can. So, 10, keep breathing. Slowly, nine, go all the way to the side, come back without moving your hips. Eight, inhale halfway, exhale halfway. Seven, good. And six, keep breathing, stabilize your hips. Five, squeeze your booty. Four, and three, squeeze in the thighs. And two, that's amazing. And last one. All right, reverse for 10 times. So same leg, 10 slowly. Feel your hips and your booty burn like crazy. Nine, eight, do it really slowly. Try to lengthen your leg all the way. Seven, six, stabilize and keep your back in neutral. Five, four, make sure your hips not moving. And three, that's the most important thing. Two. And last one. And slowly bend your knee to the opposite side. Lengthen, lift it up. Start to draw circle. And ten. Nine. Keep breathing. It is slow, but it's burned. And it's really effective. Six. Squeeze your booty and five, do it slowly. Open a little bit bigger. Four, make a bigger circle as much as you can. Three, engage your core. And two, always look down to your fingers. And last one. All right, reverse for 10. Nine, eight, it starts so slow. <laughs> but it worked like crazy. Seven, I love it. Six, try to lengthen all the way and reach out and up and down. And three more times with your own breath. Two. Feel my leg is shaking, last one. And slowly bend your knee. Shake your heels and inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, lengthen your opposite leg. You can lengthen your arms and shoulders on top of your wrist here. Lift your leg up. Open your leg all the way to the side without moving your hips again. Come back 10 times. So 10, keep breathing. And 9, belly button in. 8, 7, squeeze in the thighs. 6, that's beautiful. 5, and 4, belly button in. Three, inhale and exhale. And two more times, you got your own breath. Last one. Good. Flex the ankle. Start to make little pulls here for 10, 9, 8, 7. Lengthen your leg. And five, four, three, two, one. Knee bend to the opposite side. Lengthen, extend the ankle. Open, soften your elbows if you need to. And 10, come back. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, that's amazing. Belly button in all the time. Seven, put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. Six, always keep your leg parallel to the ground and hips facing down. Five, four, belly button in. Try to reach as far as you can. Three, and two, and last one. Come back. Flex the ankle, lift and down, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee bend. Shake your heels and inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now you need to allow yourself to lean on one side to do side kick series. So hands support your head, the other hand in front of your chest. Now lengthen both legs towards the front, and make sure your hip on hip, not lean forward, not lean backward. Just hand 
the other hand in front of your chest here, shoulders far away from your ears and extend the ankle. And when to inhale, press your lower leg down to the mat, your bottom, your up for leg, just lift it up and start to lift as high as you can and slowly bring it down or just about the hips. So 10 times here, 10, keep breathing. And nine, belly button in. Eight, do it slowly and with control. Seven, it's always more challenging when you do it slow. Six, but listen to your own pace. You don't have to make it really, really slow. And four more times, you put your own breath, squeeze in your thighs, bring your leg down. Three, relax your shoulders, belly button in. Two, press your lower leg down. And last one and slowly bring it down to the mat. So flex the ankle. You can soften your bottom knee if it's easier for the balance. Lift your top leg up and I want you to engage your core slowly. Inhale, bring your leg towards the front and bring it back. That's amazing, 10 times. I already feel it on the first move. 10, keep breathing, relax your shoulders. Nine, you can do this. Come back, eight, Pull the belly button in, just go as far as you can. Listen to your body. Seven, the most important thing here is stabilize the hips. So really pull the belly button in. Six, inhale and exhale. And five, it's a really sunny day today. And I feel really happy with the warmness. Four, belly button in, squeeze in the thighs. Three, come back. Two, inhale. And exhale. And last one. And slowly bring your leg down to the mat. That's amazing. Extend the ankle again. And now I wanted to lift your leg as high as you can. Soften your bottom knee. And slowly inhale. Press your lower leg down. Bring your knee towards the chest. And lengthen all the way up. So 10. Keep breathing. And 9. Belly button in. Try to go as far as you can. 8. And reach as far as you can. Seven, feel free to rest your head down on your arm anytime if it's easier for the wrist. Beautiful. And five, come back. Four, stabilize your hips. Three, and two more times, get your own breath slowly. And last one. All right. And now I want to allow yourself to lift your heels up, engage your core, and you slowly close the knee and open as far as you can 10 times so 10 keep breathing and nine squish in the thighs slowly eight seven feel your hips are shaking six belly button in and five more times with your own breath four three that's amazing two and last one and slowly close the knees. The last movement for the side series today. So lengthen your bottom leg towards the front, your top leg. Lengthen to all the way to along the mat and just above the um, hips here. And I wanted to extend the angle. Inhale, kick your top leg towards the front. Lift it up and down. And 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, you can do this. Don't have to go so far. Five, you can move further away if it's easier for you. Three, you're still gonna feel your body working like crazy. And last one, and then slowly kick back. And again, one more time, kick forward. And 10, nine, eight, press your lower leg down to the mat, seven. Good. Six, you can do this, almost done. And five, Take a quick rest if you need to, but really try your best. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees, drop your legs down, shake your hips, give a little massage, you know, deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, let's move to the opposite side. So, okay, hands support your head and the other hand in front of your chest. Pull the belly button in and really Engage your car here. I wanted to lengthen both legs towards the front. Press your bottom leg down to the mat. Now inhale, lift your top leg just about the hips and as high as you can. Bring it down to about the hips again 10 times. So 10, stabilize your hips, don't move. And 9, only your leg is moving. 
it. Keep breathing. You can always soften your bottom knee if it's easier for you. Seven. So listen to your body. Six. Always play with the modification to find what you feel the best. Five. And four. Engage your core. Three. Inhale. And exhale. And two more times here. Try to go as far as you can. Reach a little bit higher if you can. Last one. And slowly bring your legs down. All right. Flex the ankle. And I wanted to lift your top leg just about the hips again. Engage your core. Soften your bottom knee. And lengthen your leg all the way towards the front. Come back 10 times. So 10. Exhale all the way back. And 9. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. 8. Pull the belly button in. That's amazing. And 7. Keep breathing. Six. You don't have to go so far. Just listen to your body and the range of movement that you can do. And four. Three. Inhale. And exhale. Two. Slowly bring it back with control. Now last one. Move forward and then backward. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your heels a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale. Lift your leg as high as you can. And slowly bend your knee. And lengthen 10 times. So again, soften your bottom knee if it's easier for you. Let's do it together. 10. Slowly stabilize your hips. 9. Belly button in. 8. All the movements work happen so slower than you really feel the burn and six squeeze in the thighs five very good four try to reach as high as you can and bring your knee towards the chest as close as you can and two more times and last one lengthen and slowly bring your leg down to the mat all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to inhale and lift your leg up so slowly close your knees and then open and 10 times with your own breath nine keep breathing relax your shoulders eight squeeze your inner thighs seven six oh i feel it's so good and five more times with your own breath you can do this four belly button in three and two and last one down and lift and slowly bring your legs down shut your heels and inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and lengthen your legs and now i wanted to allow yourself to move your bottom leg towards the front your top leg towards the back inhale and bring your top leg towards the front lift and down 10 times here with your own breath 10 keep breathing and nine eight seven wow it's shaking like crazy six i enjoy this so much and five more times four belly button in three two and last one up and down kick to the back and one more time so to the front lift it up ten nine keep breathing Eight. This is called double burn. Seven, because we do it twice. So six and five. You can do this. Soften your knee anytime if you need to. Four, three, two. I cannot wait to complete this move. And last one, and slowly bend your knees down. Make a little massage and here deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lie all the way down on the mat. Arms along your body, open your legs a bit apart. Tuck your tailbone all the way towards the front. And now slowly engage your core, open your legs wider. Lift your heels off the mat and bring it down 10 times. So 10, 9, 8, 7. Squeeze your body, hips higher. 5, and 4, 3, two and last one lift and down 
and slowly draw your hips down open your legs hip width mat width apart so wider than your hips tuck your tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up again and slowly bring it down squeeze your booty 10 times and 10 slowly come back amazing nine good keep breathing go as far as you can eight inhale and exhale relax your shoulders seven that's amazing six tap the tailbone forward draw up and down and five more times look at your own breath keep breathing four inhale and exhale and three two you can do this last one and slowly draw your hips down shut your hips and head deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now bring your legs your feet back to here with the part arms along your body draw, draw your hips up and now slowly inhale bring your hips down halfway to the right to the left come back center and up so 10 times you got your own breath and up and down like we draw a simple flower lift and come back nine to the opposite side squeeze your inner thighs eight seven this is the first time i do this move so i don't really know how does it look like hope it's not too silly very good keep breathing and four belly button in lift come back three and two more times you got your own breath last one and slowly bring your hips all the way down hug your knees to your chest straight your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to slowly lengthen your legs all the way up open your arms wider extend the ankle and slowly bend your knees and bring on leg down open to the side come back to the opposite side open bring it back for 10 times each side here with your own breath nine keep breathing eight inhale open exhale come back and seven more times yeah to the opposite side six good and five keep breathing four belly button in and three to the other side two and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center feet down shut your heels and here deeply rotate the ankles and then reverse all right now let's move to the top four last challenging movement before we complete the workout today so i wanted to inhale and slowly keep your hands to the front of your chest put your shoulders far away from your ears now inhale and open your legs to middle apart squeeze your body muscles so engage your core really pull the belly button and lift your hips off the mat i want you to slowly lift your legs just above the mat and to the opposite side and five four slowly three just go as far as you can hips off the mat two and last one good and knees bend if it's too challenging for you you can always stretch your whole torso down and bend your knees and then lift each leg at a time again squeeze your booty all the time or hips off the mat and challenging version so 10 keep breathing nine belly button in eight seven that's amazing six so listen to your body five four engage your core as much as possible that's the most important thing two squeeze in the thighs last one and slowly lengthen your legs rest your torso down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right extend the ankle keep it to the center rest your head down on your hand and i want you to lift your legs up now slowly engage your core and start to draw circles together with both legs so ten nine eight keep breathing seven six five and four stabilize your torso three two belly button in towards the spine and reverse for ten nine eight 
seven, you don't have to lift your legs so high, only to the point you still feel your butt in neutral and feel comfortable. Four, shoulders far away from your ears. Two, and last one is slowly bring it down, shut your hips, you know, deeply to your nose, allow yourself to come to on four position, to try pose, you know, deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale one more time, and exhale. And then I just like to sit up, so we're gonna do some stretching. Knee on, on knee bend and lengthen one leg. Look down to the mat. Hold it here for a couple more seconds. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Good. Listen to your lower back, lower your torso if it's easier and feel more comfortable. And you're gonna feel more stretched that way too. Alright. And slowly move back to the opposite side hold it here for a couple more time more seconds inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and you shake your hips slightly you kind of feel like you get a massage on your hips feel really good all right and three two one slowly move back try to open your legs as wide as you can so now this time open your leg as wide as you can and slowly walk your hands forward as far as you can you can always walk back a little bit if it's easier for you and i want to try to lift your knees up just above the mat and then bring it down as far as you can so five four three two or walk your hands back to make it easier and slowly come back keep your feet together make a little pulse there for ten nine Eight, seven, six. Lengthen your spine if you can. Three, two, last one. Bend your knees, open your legs, or just cross the legs if it's more comfortable for you. Hands on your knees. Bring your head to one side, to the opposite side, and slowly bring it back to the center. Look up and look down, and come back one more time to the left to the right come back look up and look down back to the center rotate your shoulders fully to four directions reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth inhale one more time and exhale and that's the work out today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye bye.